Clouds were out all across West Michigan this morning after we got that fresh layer of snow overnight. Yeah, we've got team coverage for you tonight. Blake taking a look at how this winter is stacking up against the rest. But let's start with Matt, who's got a look at some of those totals from overnight. Yeah, I tell you what, after you know seeing all that uh, amount of snow that we had last night, uh, a lot of shoveling going on this morning, and there were some impressive totals. We had uh, 11 inches total so far in Grand Rapids, and that set a record for today's date. We had three inches before midnight and uh, eight inches after that. Where's the snow right now? Well, it's heading away from us, the accumulating snow, and it's opening up the door to a pretty nice weekend uh, heading our way. Live view right now, you'll be able to see Holland, some sunshine. This is actually one of our prettier uh, cameras out there. You can see some sunshine as you uh, look west along the lakeshore. Not so much. We're going to bring it further inland into Allendale. Some snow on the ground there and a lot of it melted today. Grand Rapids live view, mostly cloudy conditions. Uh, in terms of temperatures, we're at 37 in Camp Port Portage at 36, uh, 37 in Grand Haven, and also in the Saugatuck location. Our only planner has temperatures uh, mainly in the 30s throughout much of the evening. I think by midnight, especially if we get those breaks in the cloud to expand, we'll slip into the 20s, and enough breaks will drop down into the teens. Now, here's the weekend forecast. The first half of the weekend looks beautiful, a fair amount of sunshine. Uh, second half of the weekend, different story. Looks like we may add on to uh, what is uh, a very impressive of snow season, maybe one to two inches of snow on Sunday, more on Monday. Of course, I'll have more on that forecast, but Blake, it's <laughs> it's been a pretty impressive event. This is the biggest event we've had since all the way back around Christmas in terms of total snow. Yeah, much like Christmas, we broke another daily snowfall record. This is actually our sixth of the season. The first two came during that Lake Effect event back in November. Then we had one the weekend before Christmas. Two came with a Christmas week blizzard. And we saw eight inches at the airport between midnight and 7 a.m., which broke the old record by almost two inches. And there was still some snow that fell after 7 a.m. We're just waiting to hear how much, so that number may go up. That puts us now at the seventh snowiest winter in Grand Rapids history, which may make you scratch your head and wonder, what in the world? We haven't had the snow stick around very long when it's fallen, but we certainly had a lot. Uh, the snowfall from yesterday, or excuse me, this morning, puts us at 102.8 inches on the season and notice that uh, all the way up to basically the third snowiest we'd only have to get about another four and a half inches so matt talked about the possibility of some accumulating snow through the weekend into early next week and that will certainly bring us close to the top five likely put us in the top five potentially put us as high as a third snowiest winter on record in grand rapids meanwhile kalamazoo and muskegon the other two reporting sites in our viewing area have not seen nearly that much so we've been the sweet spot here in grand rapids and now we are in the record books as one of the snowiest winters in the city's history